Hey everybody, Pookie TVX. Wanted to um, talk about a situation. This is gonna be the last time I talk about this uh, R. Kelly situation. Uh, I just got through uh, watching the series all over again because uh, last night I was slapping all his music and listening to his damn music, man. This shit fucking fire, man. Still, I ain't gonna fucking front. Shit fucking fire still. But yeah, I was watching the documentary, man. And um I come with the same conclusion, man. They all played a part in this shit, man. All the way down to Aaliyah's damn mom. All the way down to Aaliyah's damn mom. And shout out again, man, to that um mom that went and got her her daughter, man. Shot the fuck out, man. Cause I, cause I want you to ask me something, y'all. If the, if if that was your if, if, okay. Say you was one of the girls, right? Say you was one of the girls. And um, you know your mama, how your mama is, right? And 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 you was to go and um, be with a twenty-seven year old man. No matter if you ran away or. You volunteered to be with this dude. Yo, straight up, man. My mom would have came, kicked down that goddamn dough, and said, get your, get the, what the fuck are you doing? And the girl was like, shh, the other girl, the other girl's in the room. I'm like, fuck that other girl. I don't give a fuck. The fuck are you talking about? And as a matter of fact, you, you bring your ass out of here too. The fuck are you doing? You talking about, shh, be quiet, because of the other, I don't give a, my mom, I don't, My mom would have went ape shit, man. She would have called some of her fucking brothers, her um, the crazy part of the fucking family, man. And it'd been an all-out goddamn manhunt. Facts. You'd have been an all-out fucking manhunt, man. It wouldn't have been no. Can I talk to my? Can I um please talk to my daughter on the phone and see if she okay? It wouldn't have been none of that, man. None of that. None of that shit would have rocked off, man. These people served their kids up on a damn platter. And once the bag started to run dry, they wanted some goddamn allegations. My mom would have goddamn lit that place up, man. Hands down. Hands fucking down, man. And y'all tell would you and y'all tell me, would y'all mom let that shit go like that? Would your mom just be so fucking so fucking nonchalant with the shit? Like, can I please talk to my child? Can I please just see if my child okay with My mom would've went ape shit, man. And I know a lot of y'all moms would've went ape shit, too. Ain't no way you gonna just let your baby go. Just, I mean, just, y'all even think about it. If you the father and this shit is happening, you just gonna be so cool, we just gonna be real nonchalant with the shit and let your daughter just travel around with a 27-year-old man getting fucking pissed on. I think not. Don't get me wrong, man. R. Kelly's personal shit is, is some twisted ass shit, man. That's some twisted ass shit, man. But when you separate the personal life from the the artist and music side of it, man, he's a goddamn genius. He's a he's a genius. crazy man I just don't see how you can just let your 
kid just just travel with a 27 year old man and it just don't make no sense man and everybody everybody's crucif crucifying R. Kelly right now man everybody and 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 it's much deserved but and he said it out of his own mouth they should have did this shit 30 years ago and that's fucking facts. What the fuck are you waiting until you got damn 45 to fucking tell somebody some shit like this? When the statute of limitations is up, fucking people forgot about fucking details and shit, and shit just don't make no sense, man. And this is going out too, man. And this is and this is some shit that it needs to be a fucking a domino effect. Goddamn Chris Stokes need to come to the fucking forefront, man. If y'all going so hard on goddamn R. Kelly about this, bring Chris Stokes. Because he did the same shit, but with, with little boys. Everybody blew, everybody listened to that Raz B shit and just blew it off. After it was over, just blew the shit off like he ain't say shit. Like this man just went out there and put his shit on blast for nothing, for some damn camera time. When he's a member of B2K. What the fuck he had to put his shit on blast for? That's what's wrong with people, man. They, cr they cry out to get attention and people take it as fucking entertainment, man. And then they crucify the motherfucker that's speaking out instead of the motherfucker that's dead. I ain't heard him talk shit about Chris Stokes, man. I haven't had nobody say shit about this man. But they all talk about Raz B. They all talk about fucking Raz B. That's what's fucked up in the black community, man. We need to clean our shit up, man, before we can even think about some other shit. Fucking Chris Stokes running around with nothing, running around right now to this day with no, not nothing on his fucking, came to his goddamn front door. But these motherfuckers chasing and biting at goddamn R. Kelly goddamn heels. Got this man having a damn panic attack going to the house. <laughs> That shit had me cracking up when I heard that shit, man. This nigga had a goddamn anxiety attack. Them shits ain't no joke. That nigga seen that Lifetime shit and went fucking bonkers. But yeah, man. Everybody that was involved with that R. Kelly shit need to fucking, uh... Need to be treated the same goddamn way. Because they could have saved countless of uh, of women, man, if they would have just said something in the fucking beginning. Instead of taking handouts and um, letting this man run a fucking muck on fucking females. At the fucking school. At a fucking high school, y'all. And, and, and they helped him. Get the young girls. He would say, go get her number. Or go get her number. And these niggas go do it. And they didn't want to speak out and say they didn't know what was going on. Man, shut the fuck up, man. You fucking clown. I'm like, you ain't know what was going on. How the fuck you ain't know what's going on? You knew what was going on. You just turned your head when you got that goddamn couple thousands. That's what's wrong, man. People piss poor morally. Like T.I. said, man. They fucking piss poor morally, man. T.I. hit that shit on the goddamn head. They don't... We don't hold anybody accountable for their fucking actions, man. We just, uh... We just say, oh, that's nasty as fuck, and laugh it off, and then we go about our goddamn business.
Man, when I seen that Raz B shit, man. I could see that brother need some he needed some damn help, man. He needed somebody to talk to, man. He needs somebody to fucking talk to, man. And people just fucking just told him to shut the fuck up. Don't say this, don't say that. No, what the fuck, man? They didn't say shit about Chris Stokes. He got on top of that young brother's helmet, man. And now they got to link back up for the money and do a tour for the money. It's not for the fans. It's not for the fans, man. You niggas could care less. When they was on that hiatus, spending all that money, they could care less about the fucking fans, man. Fucking money running low, man. They need to make some fucking cash, man. That's what the fuck it is. Like I said, man, it's the last time I'm speaking on that R. Kelly shit, man. Y'all let me know what y'all moms would have did, man, had that situation happen. Had that situation happen, what would your mom did? I know what my mom would have did, nigga. And um, since y'all petitioning R. Kelly so much, bring them all to the forefront. Bring them all to the fucking forefront. And that's a fact. I'm out.